This is question 16. Here we're told that given that 2 to the power of half uh, raised to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of x divided by 8 to the power of y, we're asked to then express n in terms of x and y. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, power here and I'm just going to simplify it. So if I'm raising 2 to the power of half by, so if I'm raising that to the power of n, what I can do is I can just multiply half by n to write that as a single power of 2. So I can say that that is 2 to the power of half n. And that that is equal to, now this, I, this I've got here is 2 to the power of x over 8 to the power of y. Now if I can write this as a single power of 2, then I can say that uh, then I can say that the powers must be equal to each other. So if I can write this as 2 to the power of something, then I can just say that half n will be equal to whatever power that is in terms of x and y. So what I need to spot here is that this base of 8, that I could write 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So what I can say is that this whole thing here, I could rewrite as 2 to the power of x divided by, so writing that base of 8 as a, sing, as a power of 2, I can say that 8 is the same as 2 cubed. So what I'm saying is that I am raising 2 cubed to the power of y. Now if I were to simplify this, what I could then say is that that means that this is 2 to the power of x divided by, and simplifying this in, in the same way as I did here, multiplying the two powers, I can say that that is 2 to the power of 3y. Now, if I were then to write this as a single power of 2, so 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of 3y, well, to write this as a single power of 2, I just need to subtract the powers. So I can say that this is 2 to the power of x minus 3y. And so now that I've written these as powers of 2, so 2 to the power of half n and 2 to the power of x minus 3y, that means that half n must be equal to x minus 3y. So to express n in terms of x and y, I can say that this is now half n is equal to x minus 3y. And when I'm asked to express n in terms of x and y, it's like saying I want to make n the subject uh, where using where n is equal to uh, something x and, and something y. So I've got half n is equal to x minus 3y. I want to be able to say that this is n on its own equal to something. So in order to do this, what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to multiply both sides by 2. So multiplying half n by 2, half n by 2 that would give me n. And then multiplying x minus 3y by 2, that's going to give me n is equal to 2x minus 6y. So final answer, n is equal to 2x minus 6y.